I have a vision which is haunting me. I see a woman, a young black woman, and she is staring out to shore, and she has tears in her eyes, and she's looking as her family leaves, and she doesn't know if she'll ever see them again, and this has been haunting me. This is a story that I want to tell. As you get older, you take for granted that the people who are in your life are, have always been there. Then you realize that little by little, one by one, they're gone. I'm thinking about people I've known all my life, and I guess, you know, you've, you're have you used to who they are and what they did in the past. You know a little bit about it, but because they've been so close to you, you don't really think too much about the kind of interesting things they've done. My father was a Spitfire pilot in the RAF in World War II. I mean, that was fascinating. And it's only really recently that I've taken another interest in that, partly because my children have been doing research on history, and uh, we're fascinated by that fact. And they say, well, really? I mean, that's quite amazing. Recently, I was doing a random search on his name. Uh, I knew that he had enlisted in the war, the first war, and I had a copy of his attestation papers. Those were the papers that new recruits filled out. And it said that his skin complexion was sallow, that he was a Methodist, and that his middle name was Eustace. Well, I didn't know that was his middle name. Uh, I didn't know why his skin was sallow. And I thought that he was an Anglican. Well, when I did a Google search on his entire name, in quotes, I arrived at a family tree site that was written by the husband of a relative of mine who I'd never met before. She lived in Chicago, Illinois, and she had made a discovery 20 years ago about a family secret, our family secret. Jenny had discovered a secret that the Sampson family had kept hidden for a hundred years. We were not from Scotland, and we were not Catholics, we were not Anglicans or Methodists or Presbyterians, and we were not white. This is our story. to get their tickets. Where? To Kingston to get their tickets. <laughs> Samson, did they buy a ticket? Uh, uh, yes, I believe so. Um, earlier this morning. Uh, I think it was uh, close to 11 or perhaps it was 10. Where, where are they going? Uh, the Port Moran. That's, no, no, no. Uh, what was their destination? Oh, yes. Uh, let's see. Um, it, uh, I think it might have been New York. Uh, of course, maybe it might have been uh, Halifax. Uh, let me check. Uh, um, ah, yes, Boston. That's it. Definitely Boston. Uh, hmm, uh, the Admiral Sampson. Now, isn't that a coincidence? Now, it seems to me that you haven't much time. Uh, let's see when she sails. No, never mind. <laughs> hey, hey, can I get a ride to Port Moran? Name? Last 
Captain, first, please. Samson. John Charles. Age. 49. Male. 49. Final destination? Toronto, Canada. Occupation? Merchant. Race? Scotch. Papers, please. Hebrew. Next. Father, no! Don't leave me! Take me with you! No. <laughs> Why? You would know who we really are. I'm sorry, ma'am. Only paying passengers may go beyond this point. You must have a ticket. Is it who we are, the nature of the beast? 